Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. I figured I'd show the profile select screen just for a quick catch up of where we are. Alright, so we have a couple options. We can go to Spectre Knight, the Lichyard, or Pride More Keep for King Knight. King Knight I think is a little bit easier, so let's go to King Knight first. Not sure what that totals thing is there. Does that show, um... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that will... Oh! Oh, okay, that's really cool, actually. I did, I did not know that. If you show... If you hit select, basically, um, it shows you how many things are in each place. Oh, it's really neat. Oh, there's actually two more hidden coins and a hidden scroll in the village somewhere. Hmm, good to know. Alright, well, let's go to King Knight here. Maybe I'll go for the, uh, the hidden stuff after. So we've got a couple of new items. And of course there's a secret here. So we can float now. Uh, so I have to remember that too, because it's a little sketchy sometimes. You don't want to float. We have the Yacht Club games symbol here. The long fuse too? I am using the long fuse, right? Yeah. Okay, so we can use our fishing thing here. Oh, a golden fish. Oh, that actually gave me a lot of stuff. Give me uh, 350 coins. Nice. So the trick with the, the floating one is that you can't charge again until you land, so it does have a downside to it. So I'm gonna keep out for the uh, sparkling pits there, because that's where we'll find the fish. Just trying to remember how to use the, uh, the float effectively, also getting a little caught up in the music. Pretty much all of the music in this game is exceptionally good. Uh, let's see. We'll do this first. And then we'll uh, see what's down here. Probably another fish. Oh, nope, oh, a health tonic. Nice. I'll probably break all of these. I don't know if, uh, again, if there's gonna be anything hidden in them, but might as well. All right, so we see there's at least one hidden path here. I don't think we can reflect projectiles as Oh no, we can destroy them though. That's actually really cool, I didn't know that. So that's very important, we can actually destroy projectiles with our bombs if we hit them. Alright, so we have our first checkpoint again. I'm not going to destroy the checkpoints because uh, I'm a little more prone to mistakes while I'm recording, so... For the sake of safety. Uh, we want to go up here, I think. What's to the right first? To double check. I think this loops around, so we should go up here. Nope, I didn't quite get that. Hold on a second. There we go. There are actually coins hidden in these blocks. I think it might be the only time it happens, though. So I don't uh, recall seeing that again. Or uh, previously. But you kind of have to break those blocks, so... It's actually a really good example of good game design, to be honest. Um, the fact that you can't really miss them because you have to break at least one of those blocks, so then you'll know. Alright, there's also a hidden thing up here, I believe. Look at this mark on the wall. There we go. Uh, there's not one here, though, surprisingly. Didn't quite get that. There we go. Alright, so there is a green coin and a treasure chest here. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the flow versus the regular. Um, flare wand, a worthless relic. Maybe someone else would want this rubbish. So, as Shovel Knight, we collected those relics. They were our special weapons, but Plague Knight doesn't have any interest in them, so... I don't know what we do with them yet, but... Uh, Apparently, we're gonna trade them in for something. There's not a uh, secret here, is there? No. Look down. 
Okay, that's two more coins. I don't know if we're gonna get the... Oh yeah, we need 40, right? Yeah, we will have enough then. We need 40 to unlock the next set of upgrades. We'll hop down here. Oh, didn't let go quick enough there. I was gonna try to, uh... High frames. Go through there. Don't watch out for these. We'll do damage. Alright, so we got something here. Uh, it's another health tonic. Nice. We got four now. I think we can only ever carry five, so... Um, kind of something I do is just if you had five, that it would just automatically use any additional ones. Alright, so we can't, um, I don't think we can go in this door because we are not Shovel Knight shaped. No. It's kind of silly that that, oh! Oh man, yeah, oh, those coins are going to be really hard to get too. Yeah, I kind of rushed that jump. So you can see too, uh, when we do die, that the, uh, coins just turn white because we've already gotten them. So we don't have to recollect them, which is really, really nice. Especially if you die getting some of the more difficult coins. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Um, I think I'll be able to get my money. Looks like it. Yeah. I should probably use a health tonic while I'm thinking about it. Use a couple there, actually. That's actually a pretty good combo there, doing uh, the iframes and then a double bomb. Oh, speaking of bombs. It seems like if we hit a bomb, it immediately explodes. That is very dangerous. Alright, is there a path this way? There is, but is there also a path this way? Uh, I'm gonna actually gonna hit this checkpoint, and then we'll go back around. I'm gonna break all these. I don't think there's any items in them, but uh, it's for completion's sake. Get a little extra money. It's not a lot, but oh, that one's a pretty big gem. All right, we can hop up. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like these long fuses. The fact, I mean, they're contact damage anyway, so. Kind of seems superior. I know there's a quick fuse also, but I'm not sure if that's uh, actually any better. Alright, we could go down there. We actually we should for the gems. Alright, we don't have to fight this guy. We can just do that. Although we could... For the... Uh, I think he does drop money. Yeah, so it was kind of worth it. Actually, it drops a lot of money, so I really should fight those. Alright, these rats can be a little tricky. Because they have a weird movement pattern. Alright, I don't want to blow up all of those blocks just yet. We'll get that. Yeah, I don't think I can get up there if I break all of those. We're going to come over here first, because there is... And stuff. Actually, I can probably use these bombs to kill these guys. Doesn't do a lot of damage, though. Mostly for fishing, I suppose. I'm actually surprised I've only died once. I'm actually recording this fairly late at night after a relatively long day. Not that it was anything particularly strenuous, just didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Probably shouldn't jinx myself before the level it's over either, though. Alright, nothing back here. I'm gonna go around this way, because there's actually a hidden wall down there. Oh, I did not know that was a hidden wall. Speaking of hidden walls. How far those roll. That is amazing. Alright, so we can get some more money. We're actually up to... Probably gonna be up to, like, 5,000 at the end of this level.
I bet those iframes actually last a really, really long time. Longer than I thought. 4,444 gold. Kind of amusing. If you're very easily amused like I am. I don't think there's anything in these. No. There was something hidden behind this, though. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, there's definitely a secret uh, passage here. I'm surprised that hasn't fallen yet. I don't think there's anything to the left, but I'll check. Oh, there's something on the wall there. There we go, knock it down. These guys are still pretty tricky to kill. Even with bombs. I think we can't... Oh, there was a hidden thing, hidden wall there. <laughs> that was a one. There we go, there's a ten there. And I think we already got that ten. Oh, don't want to accidentally blow that up. There's definitely a secret over here. Um, this is a, actually area is a little tricky because you get these rats to contend with. I actually would like to bait this one out over here if possible. Nice, got him. Alright, don't want to boost jump. So absolutely necessary here. Oh, 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 oh my god. I... <laughs> I am actually kind of amazed that I'm still alive. I thought for sure I was gonna end up falling in the pit there. Alright, so we got these magic books again. Had these when we were Shovel Knight as well. Every time we hit the book it refreshes the duration. Oh, there's also something hidden down there too. Yeah, it's a health tonic, nice. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's a uh, another fishing spot here. Let's kill these two guys. Alright, what do we got? Another health tonic? Alrighty. They're full, so I should probably use a couple of these. Oh, I was still floating. Yep. Alright, we have a lot of- we have to make sure to recover that gold, too. Yeah, I was still floating, that was, uh, was my fault. Again, that's kind of where the floating one gets you in a little bit of trouble. I wouldn't say it's less control, but... It's easier to get yourself caught in situations like that. Make sure that these guys are both gone. Nice. Was not so confident in that, but it worked out. Oh, we just used our health tonics too, that's unfortunate. Alright, there's some hidden gems there. We are over 5,000 now. I don't think there's a hidden passage to the left. No. Uh, let's use a couple of these. I think we have another griffin coming up. Yeah. Oops, that was a little too far over. Yeah, these things are kind of a pain to fight to Shovel Knight too, so it's kind of funny just to be able to hop over them like that. There we go. Bunch of money. Turkey. Griffin roast, if you will. And this should be... Ooh, don't want to break that. Should be boss time here. So in fact, I'll uh, max out. So here's King Knight. Plague Knight, you double-crossing constable of crucibles. Fun in your little kingdom. Oh, ha ha ha. Sorry, I meant kingdom. Oh, this lavish lifestyle in my blood, peon. Bask in the glimmering grace of a true monarch. The embodiment of opulence, I demand tribute. Let's have that essence. I think I'll take that nice crown, too. 
All right, let's go, buddy. So, King Knight is actually a little tough as Plague Knight, because he's very, very quick, and we are not. Especially when we're floating. We do a lot of cross-ups, though. Um, we just have to watch out for his dash attacks. But the cross-ups do a lot of damage. Yeah, this is the, the tough one, really, because we, uh, we spend a lot of time in the air as Plague Knight. But that was actually really easy. This is as far as I got in my practice runs, and uh, did really, really well there. And we get his essence. And a lot of money. Drop the essence into my Dynamo Decanter here. Essences are volatile, but my breakthrough design stabilizes them. Once the essences are all distilled together, if my research is correct, then we can craft the ultimate potion. King Knight's essence is ours, and I discovered that his crown isn't really gold. I knew it. Pretender indeed. Let's get down to business then. So what are we working on? Let's do some research. You can see the crown being worked on in the background, or the uh, essence rather. Bunch of new toys, 40 cypher coins, yes. Take a gander at your new arsenal. So we have tons of new stuff we can buy. Float casing, tracer powder, we already had component powder, sentry fuse, quick fuse, Bullet Burst I'm pretty curious about, so I'll probably buy that. Uh, I want to make sure there's no... Um, how much do we need? We need 60, I think? Yeah. I wonder where that other... Those other secret coins are. There's a page around here somewhere, too. We already got this one. He doesn't have anything else for us. Um, we could buy a magic upgrade. We haven't really, we don't really have any magic yet, though. So I'm a little. Maybe there's something up here. Oh, there is. Aha! There's still a missing page, though. Oh, whoa! I just threw bombs into him, and it popped out a page. How about that? Can I do that again? Poor guy. Let's go, uh... My alley, that's three sheets of paper. You brought me 500 gold each? Sure. What is this folly? There's some sort of musical notation. Yep, yep. Need more paper. Alrighty. I think you got a, a new musical thing there. Yeah, Flowers Antimony. I believe that is Spectre Knight's uh, theme. Let's see, 4770. Uh, maybe I will buy that magic upgrade. Are there more of them, I wonder? 7500, that's, that's super expensive. And I'll see if I can buy anything else from uh, Mona here. Oops. Uh, we could buy the Quick Fuse just to buy it, I guess. Yeah, why not? We're gonna get them all eventually anyway. So let's contrast these. This is the Long Fuse. And the Quick Fuse... Oh yeah, that is certainly very quick. I definitely like the Long Fuse better, I think. Um, we have another Burst, the Bullet Burst. Fires a blast in front of you when launching. Oh, that's interesting. Huh, I actually like that a lot. I might try to use that. Alright, let's see if there's anything else quick we can do. Before the episode is over. Yes, yeah, so we got a couple of things. We have this uh, kind of Hammer Brothers guy, and we have a crystal area. Let's go here. Ah, I love that music. Alright, gotta remember I can't float here. So this is just like a bonus area. Get some extra money.
kind of digging this bullet blast. It's a little, uh, a little odd to get used to, but it's pretty neat. Actually, knocked that skeleton right into the pit. So we got eh, about a thousand out of that, I think. Alright, we got uh, the Forest of Fishing. So we can break those. Well, not break it, but we can bomb those. Oops, I didn't want to blow you up. Bunch of cypher coins down these pits, but it's a long way down. If only you could fish them up. Alright. We know what to do with this. Now, the trick to those is they'll actually go back down if you don't catch them fast enough. It'll actually take... Oh, no, I thought it took two to do that. So this is kind of a... Uh, these areas were kind of like puzzly areas to use your abilities. This one is, of course, based around the uh, fishing thing here. I actually don't want to drop that skull if I can avoid it. Down. I knew there had to be a hidden thing there. Um, let's see. So I do want to drop this and now do a fish. Go. Oh, that's bad. Alright, so now this will cause weight and I'll make this platform fall if I stand on it with it. Oh, jeez. Oh, god. So used to the floating. Um. There we go. Alright, so this is a little bit of a puzzle. We have to figure out how to get these things. It's not too hard, though. We just need to line up the. Uh, platform at the right time. Lost my train of thought there. This actually gives you a hint at how you solve uh, some of the other things coming up. Alright, we got this guy down here. He's an anchor knight of some sort. Should be able to just keep lobbing bombs at him. There we go. Alright, so we have a sparkly way out there. How the hell do we get that? Well... The trick is, we need to send one here, and it'll hop, 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 and there we go. You do see there is a uh, secret wall there. Hopefully it's not a bomb. Okay, it's good, it's just a turkey. Alright, and we have another, uh... Ooh. Watch out that skeleton. And that's what happens when you're not careful with your jumps. Oh man, this brings me all the way back to the start of this too. That is wild. Um, I think I have all the coins now though, so I don't have to really mess around too much. I just have to get back. Yeah, the, uh, the float one is definitely safer, to say the least. go. Got a little more momentum than I wanted there, but did the trick. I think we have to kill this guy again. Yeah. I think I can aggro him from here. Oh, maybe I can just push him off the edge. That would be pretty funny. Might work. Oh. Running out of uh, space here, actually. No, not quite. Oh, yeah, I did. Nice. That was pretty cool. I didn't think I was going to be able to do that. So, we're still... we got that in there. Alright, here's where we were. Um... Let's see. There we go. So I want to get this fish thing here. Watch my positioning. Oh! That is actually much harder to get than I thought. Hmm. Um. I don't 
think we need to lower the platform to get it, but it is a little finicky. I might actually want to use the float um, here. Have to get used to stopping my momentum with these. Oh, that was definitely not what I wanted to do. I don't want to die here. Oh, I'll lose my coins if I fall here. There we go. Ooh. It gets the heart going a little bit. Alright. Take care of you, and I want to get my coins back. There we go. Oh, and I did get that other that cipher coin, so I don't actually have to go down here again. Good. Alright, so the trick to this is much like we were doing before. So kind of hop along there. So now we have this thing on here. Whenever we're on the platform along with it, it will push it down. This is, you think you just have to do jumps down here, but what you actually have to do is just, uh... Oh, there we go. A little bit of a double fish there. Double bait, rather. What do we get down here? Uh, another puzzle, I think? Oh, that's gonna drop a coin out. Um, I wanna try to kill this guy if I can. There we go. Oh, you dropped a lot of coins. I have to make sure to get this other one, though. There we go. I think that should be all of them now. Is this the end of the stage? Nope, not quite. There's something special up there. Oh, five health tonics, nice. I wonder if we ever get more capacity on the health tonics, too. Nice, and that ends that, so that's that little bonus area. So we have 2600 now, I think I'll just go back quick, turn in one more page, and uh, buy something, perhaps. And then we'll end the episode. Yes. Sharps, flats, time signatures? What's all this? I'll just write on the back. Oh, and you always forgot, as I promised, a fitting reward, romance tips from Sir Percival. Everything you need to know about romance can be found in books. Read up. Is this really all there is to it? I agree, man. All right. Um, can't do research yet. We could buy float casing. I'm kind of curious what that does. Um, I'm a little cautious about these just because they lower our bomb max. Um, yeah, let's try. Let's see what the float casing looks like. Pretty curious. So we have the art casing. Oh, weird. Oh, that is, like, that is really weird. It's actually super cool, though. I really like these. There's something very Mega Man-esque about this, too. Maybe we'll try using these. I don't know. I, I would really like them, though. Alright, well, that will do it for now. And next time, we'll head over to Spectre Knight. Um, yeah, we have to go to Spectre Knight. There's still nothing at the Trupal Pond. Yeah, so we'll continue next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click like helps a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. See you soon.